Hi guys, hello and welcome to another Java programming tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to check in Java to see if the file already exists or not. In Java, there are two different kinds of I.O. packages. One is the standard Java I.O. package and one is the new I.O. package, the input output package. There is a big difference between the two. The Java I.O. package basically refers to the interface between a computer and the rest of the world or between a single program and the rest of the computer. In Java programming, I.O. classes have uh, until recently been carried out using a stream metaphor, all I.O. is viewed as the movement of single bytes one at a time through an object called a stream. Stream I.O. is used for contacting the outside world. It is also used internally for turning objects into bytes and then back into objects, which is known as serialization and deserialization respectively. Java and I.O. was created to allow Java programmers to implement high-speed input-output operations without having to write custom native code. And I.O. or Java New I.O. moves the most time-consuming I.O. activities back into the operating system, thus allowing for a great increase in speed. Well, the most important distinction between the standard I.O. library, which comes from Java.io package, and new I.O., which comes from Java.nio package, is how data is packaged and transmitted from source to the target. As previously mentioned, uh, standard I.O. deals with the data in streams, whereas N.I.O. deals with the data in blocks. So a stream-oriented I.O. system deals with data one or more bytes at a time. A block-oriented I.O. system deals with the data in blocks. Each operation produces or consumes a block of data in one step. Data blocks give us a bit more flexibility during processing. However, we also need to check if the buffer contains all the data we need in order to fully process it. Well, there is synchronous standard versus an asynchronous new I.O. So Java I.O.'s various streams are blocking or synchronous. That means that when a thread invokes a read or write operation, that thread is blocked until there is some data to read or the data is fully written. The thread will be in blocked state for this period. In asynchronous I.O., which is part of the new I.O., a thread can request that some data be written to a channel, but not wait for it to be fully written. The thread can then go on and do something else in the meantime. Usually these threads spend their idle time on when not blocked in IO calls is usually performing IO on other channels in the meantime. So it's basically very, very efficient in a multi-threaded application. Just wanted to give you a brief overview of the differences between IO and NIO before we get started with checking to see how we do a file check with IO and how we do a file check with NIO. So guys, the file that I want to check to see if it exists or not on the system, I already created this file under the documents folder on my computer, and the name of the file is names.txt. As you can see in Java, we have to use two slashes as opposed to a single slash because one slash is for scape sequence characters. You might have seen like slash n slash t. So that's why we use two slashes to show that only echo one on the screen. Once I created my file, name string path. I will now use Java built-in file class which belongs to java.io package. As soon as I organize my imports, you will be able to see that. So to organize your imports, you get actually either hover over on file and then click on import file java.io. That is the quickest way to do it for a single file if you're using mouse, or you can go under the source menu and then you can choose organize imports, or you can use a keyboard shortcut of control, shift, and the letter O. And each of the three will do exactly the same thing. As you can see, java.io.file is added, okay? Now what I will do is I will call an exists function of the file class so since it's a non-static function, therefore it requires to be called through the object. So f dot exists, as you can see in the list, it will automatically be true if the file exists, and if it will be false, it means the file does not exist. So system dot out dot println file exists. And if it doesn't return anything back, that means the file does not exist. Okay, so that means false does not exist, true 
I forgot to put a slash here on line number six because it needs two slashes. So let me save the changes and run. As I told you that I already created this file, therefore it says file exists. If I change it to, let's say, names2 and save the changes, since that file does not exist, it will say file does not exist. So that is one way in Java to check to see if the file exists or does not exist if you are using java.io package. Next, we will look at, in the same example, I'll make some changes for you to see how Java NIO checks to see if the file exists or not. So what I will do is I will comment out this portion of the code by simply going to the source and I can now add block comment. This is how you can, without having to write slash asterisk asterisk slash, you can just let Eclipse do the work for you. You can also use the keyboard shortcut. It tells you the keyboard shortcut is control shift slash. Anyway, so the classes that Java IO package uses are different from the classes that Java NIO package uses. Java NIO package uses a class called path. And it uses a get method to which you can provide the path, just like that. Now, again, these classes are part of Java NIO package. So I will use Control Shift O as a keyboard shortcut. It will ask me, would you like to add the path from the FX package or path from the NIO package? That is the main reason for paths. It automatically added the import, but for path, it did not because it comes from multiple packages. So I will use it to be coming from. It's an interface that will be coming from the NIO package. It's an interface because that's why it shows the letter I. Okay, anyway, so once you do that, now what I will do next is I will write an if condition very similar to the first approach. So in fact, let me copy this thing here because it's the same logic. The only difference is my if condition. So instead of calling the file instance dot exists of the file class, we will now use the built-in files class dot exists and we will provide it with that file path object and as you can see that files is also uh, in the java.nio.file package so now let's test this program and it will tell me that the file does not exist because his name's two now let me try with names which we know that it exists let's try again it says files exist so, well, in the same example, you saw both approaches, one with files.io package and the other one was with nio.file, which is also a sub package of Java. So whichever one you prefer, now you know how to deal with it. Well, I catch you in the next tutorial, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.